Madam C.J. Walker was born in Delta, Louisiana and was one of the first African-American entrepreneurs. In 1905, she invented a method for straightening African-Americans' hair using her own formula for pomade. She is known for her philosophy, cleanliness is loveliness. She organized clubs and conventions for her representatives, which recognized not only her successful sales, but also philanthropic and educational efforts among African-Americans. Her contributions to American history are remembered today by me, Kiara Luster. Ben Carson was one of the first black African Americans who founded a hospital in New York. Born in Detroit, Michigan, Ben experienced difficulty in school. His grades dropped and he became the object of ridicule by his classmates. His mother made Ben and his younger brother read two books a week. Ben's grades improved and he had thoughts of a career in medicine. His contribution to our American history is remembered today by me, James Newman. Ella Fitzgerald was the most popular African-American female jazz singer of her time. She was born in Newport News, Virginia. At the age of 17, she turned to singing and made her debut at the Apollo Theater. She was the first African-American to perform at the Macamba. Ella is known as the First Lady of Song and has won 13 Grammys in her lifetime. Her contribution to our American history is remembered today by me, Alicia Kirkland. Henrietta Baker Swilly was the first African American to be elected to the Bay County School Board. She spent more than three decades in the school system as a teacher and as a principal. She served six years as school board member and her career spanned the years of segregation. Aunt Henrietta, as she is known to me, helped minorities advance from teaching in black-only classrooms to holding district-wide positions in Bay County. Her contribution to Bay County is remembered today by me, her great niece, Brittany Simmons. 